What's up, Raging Nation? How are y'all doing? This is Alex. You're watching the Raging Nation Show Transformers 4 Edition. This is just a web series where we talk about all the things that matter to me for the production of the fourth installment of the live action Transformers film franchise directed by Michael Bay. This is update number 28, and filming is underway in Detroit and other parts of Michigan. And this is a really exciting time because Autobots and Decepticons are just everywhere, and people got their camera phones and they're just posting all this stuff all over social media. Transformers 4, the production, has exploded all over social media from YouTube to Facebook to Twitter to Instagram. It doesn't matter. Everybody's got a camera phone and when you see something exciting going on They post it and it's all over the interweb So I'm really excited about this stuff because that's where I get a lot of my information A lot of people from the Raging Nation has been posting stuff on the Facebook page of the Raging Nation and also uh, Tweeting at me at Raging Nation follow me on Twitter If you haven't already followed me and tweet me all your photos and information that you see if you're in Detroit and you spot something So my first tweet I'd like to uh, give a big shout out to is Jack from Jackie Rafe uh, She says that that Tia 4 is filming on M52 about 10 miles south of Adrian MI this whole week. Possibly might be postponed if rain keeps up. And then following that, she gives me another tweet and that is the radio station at Adrian MI posted this photo of Optimus Prime yesterday on Facebook. And check out this photo of Optimus Prime seen driving along the road. A very visible, stick, sticks out like a sore thumb. So that's really exciting to see. I mean, if I saw that, I'd be whipping out my camera phone and posting that all over the web. So really exciting stuff. Now, I don't have a whole lot of uh, any more uh, updates other than what I saw from uh, Instagrammers and King My Re and I'm Jay West saw something really really exciting to all of us because it looks like we got a few more additions to either Autobots or Decepticon factions and uh, what they saw was this big car carrier truck and what it was loaded with was vehicles and not just any vehicles but some supercars and check this out we got a Cadillac Cyan Cyan uh, it was seen in Michael Bay's The Island okay very very sleek looking car okay next we have a concept convertible Buick Valite Valite Okay, the light, I don't know. Okay, next we have a white Ferrari, a Ferrari, not white Ferrari, a white Ferrari. I think it's a 458 Italia, much like Dino slash Mirage. Um, instead, it's a white version, not a red version. So, who knows who that's going to be. And then we have a blue Maserati. These are all going to be used in, in Transformers 4. This solidifies, once again, Michael Bay's uh, phrase, the chase from hell. Now, it looks like if this is going to be Michael Bay's last installment for uh, going into the Transformers franchise, it looks like he's going with a bang and he's making um, this car chase from hell the biggest car chase ever, uh, let alone a robot movie. But uh, it looks like it's going to be something very special and really explosive and exciting and, and a lot of high-speed car chases. And this is what he's good at. He's the master of car chases from Bad Boys 2 to The Rock to the island and of course you know uh, Transformers Dark to the Moon the freeway chase we've seen it all but it looks like this is gonna be something even bigger so I think he's just gonna outdo himself by a hundred times especially since this this car chase is gonna consist of all these supercars now what I'm curious about is that how was he able to to get all these cars and another thing is that I'm excited about is the fact that there are at least some American cars in it not just European supercars we got a Buick and we also got the, the Cadillac. I was always waiting for them to put the Cadillac in, 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 in a Transformers film, so my dream has come true. Now, the, the one thing I got to say about this, and this is, this is the, the, the main uh, 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 comment that I got to make, is that I'm just a little bit concerned. Now, we got lots of supercars in this movie, from a Lamborghini to a, a, um, a, a the Bugatti to the, to the uh, Pagani, the Huayra, and a whole bunch of other really fast cars. What I'm really concerned about is that it's going to be kind of overkill. And what I mean by that is that remember when they announced all these robots in Revenge of the Fallen? Michael Bay said that you didn't you didn't think we got enough robots in the first movie? Well, you're going to see a lot of robots in Revenge of the Fallen. And we saw that, but they were all given a very little screen time. We saw all these Constructicons and all these 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 uh, you know, the Decepticons, but they were just a lot of nameless Decepticons. And that's what I'm really concerned about. I hope they don't pull a Revenge of the Fallen where they, they put all these vehicles and all these, these Stunticons and even though they don't refer to them as Stunticons like they did refer to them as, as, as Constructicons and Revenge of the Fallen. Anyways, off topic, you know, like I really hope that they don't, don't turn these Stunticons into just like... Um, uh, like the sideways syndrome and what sideways syndrome is is that you got an Audi R8 in Revenge of the Fallen It's a really cool car. Everybody's excited about it But then he gets sliced in half in the first 30 seconds that he's he's uh, makes an appearance 
So I don't want to see that. And it's possible that might happen. You know, sometimes, you know, Michael Bay does a little bit of excess. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, um, a lot of the people, uh, you know, who, who, who think they know what's going to happen don't really know. And a lot of people, a lot of those same people are really super excited. I can't say that I'm super excited. I feel more like neutral but a little bit concerned because I really don't want to get the, the Revenge of the Fallen Syndrome where we just have all these nameless Decepticons and then they get, they get destroyed, you know, and have little screen time. In fact, they show themselves more as a vehicle than a robot. I don't want to see that and I don't want to see uh, them get sliced in half like Sideways did in Revenge of the Fallen in the Shanghai Battles. So that's my concern and I think that everybody should just be a little bit, um, a little bit uh, not too excited you know don't have your expectations too high otherwise you set yourself up for disappointment i'm gonna let you know right now i have no expectations okay my my expectations are are, are are neutral to low okay that way when i watch i'm gonna be pretty blown away all right now the last thing i gotta uh, talk to you about is that it's time to get interactive okay we haven't done this for a while i did this before and that is i want you guys to show me your collections email me at ragingnation at gmail.com and then show me your collections and what we're going to start off with is the theme is transformers live action movie toys okay so if you have g1 and you have a uh, 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 beast wars and you have a prime i don't want to see that right now let's showcase uh your love for the transformers live action movies by by showing me your collections and i'm going to feature it on every single uh transformers 4 update video and you'll be the rage nation member of the of, of the of the episode of the, of the of the transformers news episode okay so there you have it email me rage nation at gmail.com and uh, show me your your Transformers live action movie toys, your Revenge of the Fallen uh, toys, and your Dark of the Moon toys. It's all good. I want to see them all, and I'll feature them once uh, once per episode. All right, there you have it. And one more thing I got to uh, uh, tell you guys is that um, I want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting me, not just by subscribing and liking the Facebook page and following me on, on Twitter, but also thank you for those who are 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 uh, are, 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 <laughs> are purchasing those uh, those uh, all access passes the VIP Rage Nation member all access passes thank you for making the purchase it really really helps me out and it really supports what I do and thank you for all those t-shirt purchases if uh, if you want to be a Rage Nation VIP member to win exclusive prizes uh, email me at RageNation at gmail.com it's cost $5.99 for the pass plus shipping PayPal is accepted and I'm really excited about that because you guys have really been really been showing me a lot of love and it really shows me how much you appreciate these transformers for updates and the last thing i got to say is that uh, i want to give a big shout out to to a couple of raging nation members who bought the passes i hope i don't forget anyone david peter henry and uh oh my god i'm sorry uh, anybody else who i didn't mention <laughs> Uh, I, I, I apologize, but thank you all for the people who have uh, purchased the Rage Nation uh, VIP badge. And also, one more thing is that everybody who has their badges on the way, um, you guys are still eligible for the prize giveaway, okay? And that is, of course, the uh, Thundercracker Arms Micron, uh, Japan exclusive to car version of um, the Transformers Prime toy of Thundercracker, all right? So all you guys are, are, are eligible for that prize. I still have a number associated with your badge, all right? Even though you didn't get it, you're eligible. Anyway, Anyways, that's all I got to say. This was a small update, but I talked a little bit too much. We got a lot more updates for you guys. And if you want to, you can tell me who you think are those four vehicles. The Cadillac, the Buick, the, 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 the Ferrari, and also the Maserati. There are a lot of supercars in this, this movie. I think it's going to be a big car chase, all right? Car chase from hell. There you have it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Raging Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Well, uh, there is also the big announcement of a new vehicle that is going to be in the movie, and it's a sleek and very fast vehicle, and this, this announcement